What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video we're going to be talking about a horror movie, kind of secret horror gem, a werewolf film that I never caught, came out in 96 called Bad Moon. So let's get down to talking about it. We're going to get into some spoilers today so if you haven't seen it definitely go check it out. I recommend checking it out for sure. I'm going to tell you for right now. So spoilers warning, let's get into this video. Roll it! So Bad Moon is a werewolf film that I caught. It's from 1996, directed by Eric Red. It stars Michael Pear, Mason Gamble, Meryl Hemingway, and Primo, who plays Thor in the film, our main protagonist, who is a dog. Oh, man, this dog was pretty dope for sure. So let's get down to talking about like my feelings and what I really did enjoy about this film, because like I said, this to me is a horror gem for sure. Being right off the bat, I was just kind of upset at myself being a horror fan that I've never come across this film. And like I said, it came out in 96. But then again, I'm not too big on werewolf films. I'm a horror fan, but I'm more into slashers, zombie films. I like a lot of body horror, sci-fi horror, stuff like that. So werewolf and vampire films are still ones that I have to dive into a lot. So they're ones out there that I secretly find here and there, you know, once in a blue moon because I haven't caught all of them. And Bad Moon for me is a very special one because I've I've rarely ever seen a movie where our main protagonist is like is a dog. Like that's how we fo follow the story basically. Is we see kind of like a little intro story to Michael Pear's character and the werewolf and the whole like a horrifying beginning like with an amazing attack on his girlfriend. Like when they're like yeah of course having sex you know like the late 90s man and then the werewolf just comes in and rips her out of the tent. Like oh it's a very gruesome scene for sure. But after that little beginning and that little tidbit of just showing us, like, kind of, we know as an audience member who the werewolf is now. But, oh, man, to see the dog as our main protagonist and see other things, we kind of see him follow and get really interested in Michael Pear's character, get more curious as he knows something's up. You know, dogs always have that sixth sense, so it's really cool. And, like, I think this dog, like, oh, had an amazing just acting skills like you can really tell like you know but training wise and just acting wise this dog knows when the camera's on him and he knows what to do but we follow michael Pear's character also like as we know he is the werewolf he ends up calling his sister played by meryl hemingway and he kind of wants to reconnect he thinks having that love and having a family member that bond it might kind of like break the curse of what's happening to him because he's still trying to figure out exactly how to break it and what's happening so he connects with her he ends up calling her back too because he wants to see if he can move over there so he takes his little mobile home and moves into their backyard and that's kind of where the rest of our movie kind of takes place and this is a very short film too it's like an hour and 25 minutes so it's not going to demand you sitting on the couch a long time but it doesn't feel too short to me as I was watching it it feels lengthy but a good lengthy like you know the story has its you know development the characters have their development and you feel enriched in the story you don't feel like they're not telling you enough or like it, you're they're like it's too short I really had a good time with it and like I said the runtime I think was perfect for this film add to that we have some amazing special effects for sure like the oh man like these realistic effects the werewolf creature design in this one is pretty top notch like it's a horrific looking like tall werewolf like he's big man and they actually got i can't remember his name it's Kirsten kersinger i think is his last name but he's the man that played jason Voorhees in freddy versus jason he's actually the stunt man and the werewolf creature in this film so i thought that was really cool he's got a really good size to him like i said the costume and the creature design was perfect all the kills and the special effects all realistic stuff that you love like I love all that kind of stuff and that's what I appreciate too is like I said it's just a really good horror gem because it has everything that I desire with good rich character development a nice story that's going to keep you interested in those really good special effects those realistic ones that I that people took time to make I really do appreciate those kind of ones and oh, as the story takes place and keeps going it just gets tense it gets into that third act and you know what I mean like the family doesn't trust Primo anymore like Thor's character the dog like oh, they don't trust him anymore because they think he's kind of just going crazy and Michael Pear kind of plays on the sister like oh man it's it's wild it's like I said got some really good acting I think some very tense moments some good writing and just like all the at like all the atmosphere in it you can really feel it it has like this cool kind of detective evil story supernatural like feel to it and I really did like that 
Another thing, too, for sure, is as I was watching the film, I just didn't want them to blue ball us. You know, they kind of have the dog following Michael Pear's character and finding out about the werewolf and who he is. And it's just I didn't want them to blue balls us and not have a fight. I was like, oh, come on, don't let this movie end. And somebody else has to take him out or anything like that. No, the dog and him go completely at it. You know, like, oh, it's a pretty like it's a doggone fight for sure. Like, I loved it. And like, it's just straight up battling. They're fighting. And then all of a sudden, like, it comes to that third act, the end. And it's so amazing because the dog goes into the woods. You know, Thor is searching out Michael Pear's character after the sun kind of comes up. And, like, it's time's over. He's already transformed back into a human. And he still has, like, the wounds there from the dog. And he's just looking at Primo. Like, he's like, oh, finish it. Like, finish me. I was just like, oh, man. Like, it's so good. Like, for real. Like, this is a horror gem that I was just happy that I got a chance to catch this film. And like I said, with all these realistic effects, this amazing dog actor and Primo playing Thor, this is actually based off a novel called Thor. And after watching this film, I really do want to dive into this novel and see how good the book is too. Like, ah, uh, it's just a really good one. Like, if you're a horror fan or you're a werewolf fan, you definitely have to check out this film, Bad Moon, because I think Bad Moon is secretly an amazing horror gem for sure. It definitely slipped past me, and now that I've seen it, it's going to be a kind of a hardcore rewatch for me, especially during that Halloween season. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around with me. Don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button because it definitely helps out the channel for sure. And leave your comments down below. Have you seen Bad Moon? Tell me, what did you think about it? Do you like this film? Is this one of your favorite werewolf films or is this one you haven't seen yet? I definitely suggest you go check it out and then let me know what you thought. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out. <laughs>